Helidroid 3D um, is a game where you're in a room and you get to fly a helicopter around the room and you have to take off and land on a helipad um, in the least amount of time. So we're just going to get it up. You could either use the gyroscope or the joystick. So we're going to use the gyroscope and see if we can get this done. You do have controls right on the left hand side to accelerate and decelerate. And you just have to kind of use the accelerometer to move it around and try and land on the highlighted uh, helipad. So we can land. You get the idea of the game. In the least amount of time you do it, the more stars you get. But there is um, a bunch of different levels that you can play through. You've got different rooms and stuff like that. And there's other levels like um, this one where you're not just land flying and landing it. You're flying it like through obstacles or through rings. Let me just show you that really quick. Like these rings and then land it. So they add, they add that kind of variation to the game and it really does make the game good. Um, the one downside to this application is that the controls can be a little bit tricky just to um, get the hang of but once you decide whether you prefer the gyroscope or the on um, joystick, the on screen joystick you should be able to get used to it after a while but the controls can be a little bit tricky but it's still a great application the graphics are really nice as well and you can pick this up free from the Android Marketplace the next application we're taking a look at is Cartoon Camera and what this um, application is it allows you to take pictures straight away um, that have this nice cartoon effect to it so you could take it almost live and take a few pictures live and automatically saves it um, you could do this about anything you could use that over your rear facing cam camera on the front facing camera it takes pretty um, decent uh, pictures but it can be a little uh, noisy it's not the best quality even though this is a 5 megapixel camera but it's still not the best quality it can be a little bit better and you could also switch to the front facing camera and when you switch to the front facing camera it does freeze for me so the way I fix that is going back out and then reopening it back up again and then it switches over to the front facing camera which works perfectly fine but you can see there's like a lot of noise there I don't know if that's because of the light but you know but anyway this is still a great application and you could uh, pick this up free from the Android marketplace okay the next application we're taking a look at is catch and this is a great note um, taking application um, you could take uh, text notes say hello you could save it um, you could also take uh, camera pictures and you could actually add notes to them as well so you take a quick picture you could save it so it's terrible but from there you could have a go into all notes Go view the picture you just taken um, and add notes to that picture and an attachment so you could just uh, scrap it all together. Um, let's go back. And you could also add voice notes as well and, and you could also um, create an account so you could have it synced up to, I think it's catch.com, which um, synchronizes all of that. Or if you don't want to create an account, you could sync up to like a social network um, at the bottom. Um, this is a really good uh, note-taking application if you're just looking for something, an alternative to Evernote. Um, this is a great alternative um, and you can pick this up free from the Android Marketplace. Next application we're taking a look at is Transparent Screen. Um, this is a really fun application that you have to go and download. Uh, what it does, it, it makes your entire screen transparent so you can set um, like the resolution you want it to be at. The higher you go, it gets a bit laggy when you do that so it's best to keep it low. If you want to keep everything running smooth you just click start and then straight away your whole screen goes um, transparent so you can actually view anything you do and you can come at the application entirely and um, you can send a text message send email and you could be walking down the street um, texting and everything you could see like what's in front of you so you don't um, walk into anyone or step in anything that you're not meant to you know this is a really good application and you have to download and try it out and take it for a test run you know have a walk down the street and tell me what you think. Leave them in the comments below. And to come out of the transparent um, mode, you just pull down the top bar and just tap on it. And then it automatically comes out. Um, you have to go check this out. It's a really fun application and it's free from the Android Marketplace. Um, next we're going to be taking a look at is DG Clock Widget. Um, this is a widget that you can pick up. Um, it's a really nice widget you can pick up for free. Um, I've already got it set up on my main, main screen right here. You can see what it, um, what it looks like. It just has the time, the date, your battery percentage. Um, it's really nice, simple um, um, widget. So you could tap on it, and you could also it takes you straight into this option. Um, if you want to customize it, let's go back into widgets. You 
and you put it there it takes you straight into the option right here you could change the background color you could change it to any color you want so let's just change it to green so you could change it to green you could uncheck if you want the battery status to be there or the time um, you could just there's not much options but there's a little bit of customization to it this is just a very nice simple minimal widget that this displays the time and the date and how much battery you have left and if you're not a fan of that you could go for the 4x1 which is a lot smaller and a little bit more compact um, which is still very nice as well and you can pick these up free from the Android Marketplace the last thing I'm going to be taking a look at is the live wallpaper I'm just going to get that loaded up this is the live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at you can see it's really nice um, you have the white background and you have bots kind of like flipping over moving in different directions it's really nice you could go into settings just telling you how to do it you can put um, how big um, they you want them to be and how fast you could change the colors the background color uh, ignore that let's change it to blue change it to blue and go back and you can change it to blue you set it as live wallpaper and see how it looks you could change up the background if you want you could change up the blocks like I said before how many blocks you want um, it's just a really nice um, cool live wallpaper um, if you're just looking for a nice change or another cool live wallpaper and you could pick this up free from the Android marketplace that's about it for the video please leave your recommendations down below give me some more applications for next week's video um, leave your comments, um, give the video a like and if you haven't already go check out my new website androidintech.com I'll put the link to that in the description uh, I'm going to be posting some stuff on there if you want to you know, go check it out that would be great anyway that's about it thanks for watching